Welcome back, guys, to Calamity Town, episode number three. So it's been a little while since episode two, and uh, it's been just over two weeks, actually. That was not my original intent. My original plan was to have one to two episodes of Calamity Town, one to two updates to the map per week, uh, so that people have enough time to come and see what's happened, what's changed, because we're going to eventually, as we develop, be destroying things. It's going to get crazy, but we're going to start simple. I've got it mostly figured out. Now, last episode, I asked you to vote on which NPC you wanted, and people, it was pretty clear, wanted the blacksmith. And we're still working on that. There's some plug-in stuff that needs to be written, and uh, I'm mostly done with the texture pack stuff. But I have done a number of things on the map to get it ready for the NPC. When he shows up, He's going to show up in an airship. Basically, he's going to have a quest for you. And if you complete the quest, you're going to get an item. It's going to be kind of like a once daily thing you can use. And the item will last, uh, well, I'm not sure yet, maybe five uses. So it'll get used pretty quickly and you can get a new one each day. So to get the item, you can tell that the mountain is now kind of different. And that's because I've recarved it into a parkour course. I've got chat turned off, by the way, so I'm sure people are trying to talk to me. Uh, but I can't see it right now because I'm, <laughs> I need to focus on the video. Otherwise, it can get very distracting. I've been messing around. Every, every once in a while, every maybe once a day or so, I'll log on and just murder people and stuff. Uh, but there's now a parkour challenge to get to the top of the map. It's not too hard, I have to say. And it's not designed to be hard because the item you get from the quest will make it harder. Uh, not for you, but for other people. You're going to be able to basically screw with other people. Now, the way this is designed, it's a spiral around the top of the mountain. And if you fall, at most you're going to be set back maybe one ring. Some of, the, some of the jumps, like this one right here, if you miss this jump like that, you can try it again. So it's quite forgiving, uh, except for when there's people in your face. You can't see the edge of the block. All right, out of the way, jabroni. So you can get around like that, etc., etc., and get all the way to the top. Now, this isn't in place yet, but eventually there will be an item to click on. Uh, basically, NPC is going to ask you to go get something. It's going to be up here, and you're going to have to come up here to get it. Once you get it, he's going to make you, because he's a blacksmith, he's going to make you a hammer like this. Now, you can see I've started with the custom texture pack. This is... A hammer of smiting. Right now it just says golden hoe uh, because we haven't uh, written the custom name tags and flavor uh, flavor text type stuff yet. But it's got a nice awesome hammer of smiting graphic and it does this if you right click. There's supposed to also be a particle effect where uh, the TNT explosion sounds and particles show up when you hit someone with it. Now you can see that one. This one is for me. This one is very special. If I ever let players have this, it's going to be really expensive and or really hard to get. It's not going to be called Golden Hoe. We're going to change that. Uh, but that's what that does. And basically, I wanted that originally so that if I need to build something, need to place a block, and there's players in the way, I can just get them out of the way. That's what the original intent was. But then we started making player volcanoes. Uh, just for fun, out of the top of the mountain. <laughs> like that. Uh, that's kind of a... Look at that guy, man. You really go flying high. So this is the, the super duper hammer of smiting. And then, basically what we're going to do is we're going to let you... If you complete this quest where you get to the top of the mountain, you're going to have access to like a, a smaller, a wee hammer. I think I may call it the wee hammer, W-E-E. -E. Uh, it is, right now it's just a wooden hoe, but we're going to replace that. And basically what's going to happen, you complete the quest, he'll give you this hammer, and it's going to use a lot of durability, so you may get maybe five uses out of it, and it won't throw players as far. But if you see players like this, try look at all of them, trying to get up the mountain, basically you can hit them and knock them off. So it's going to get a little bit chaotic, and so I intentionally made this parkour challenge a bit forgiving because you're going to get thrown around uh, and when we've uh, got the item ready to go it's not going to fling you like it's not going to do that 
<laughs> it's not going to do that to this guy. Okay. So there is that. That's one update. Now there's also... I'm not going to actually show it. A lot of people already know about it. But there's another parkour event on the map already. And it's a little bit more challenging than, than this one. It's not impossible. If you go to parkour multiplayer servers all the time and you're good at parkour, you'll probably have no trouble with it. Or maybe only a little trouble. But you should be able to get through it. Not too bad. Uh, but it leads to a secret little place. And there's no bonus to, to, to getting there. There's no objective. You don't get an item yet. Maybe eventually you will. But there's also a second parkour event. Now, you may notice there's a huge dark shadow here. That's because I added some clouds. And this is kind of like a storm cloud thing. Basically, um, I needed a place where I could build something without uh, everybody being in my face all the time. Basically, I needed it because when they're next to you, can't place blocks like, like that. Can't place them. So I created a cloud up here. And since everybody, uh, the NPCs rather, are going to be showing up in airships. Because I thought, hey, airships are cool. We're on a floating island. Airships are neat. They're kind of steampunky. They've got like balloons and wings and fans. And it's, it's cool stuff. And I've never made one. Uh, so I needed a little place to build... Uh, on my own, and then later we'll copy this down. So basically, I'm going to go over a little bit of how I've been building this. The first thing I did is I made this cross section, just like this. I built one of these, and then let's go into my inventory and trade these out. Actually, no, I need, we need the wooden axe. That's an important block. Now, what am I missing here? Did I not have this? We need... Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, we don't need the compass right now, but we will need those. Oak wood planks. So build a cross section, and then these lapis blocks are basically just... They're just markers. And what I do is I right-click like this, and left-click like that, and that selects that region. I actually may need to lift this whole thing off the ground... It's a little bit too low. We're going to scrape into the clouds here in a minute. Basically, then what you do is you decide how far down you want them to be. And the orientation of how far you are from it is very important. When you hit copy, it's going to re it's going to copy it based on its relative distance and uh, the orientation, which direction you're facing. And then you face the same direction where you want it pasted. Click paste. I assume you could also cut. Can we cut? Let's try. Yeah. Okay. And we can undo. There. So once we get to that point, basically what I've been doing is copying one over and then deciding, well, do I want the ship to get smaller? What kind of shape do I want it to be? And then I'll modify one of these cross sections and then copy that over, modify it again. So we've kind of got this shape going where we've got this really sharp prow. Now, since this is the the blacksmith's airship, I thought it would be kind of cool if it was kind of like a castle. So we've got these stone bricks, which are kind of heavy, and not, I don't know, you might not typically associate a castle with an airship, but it's a cool juxtaposition, so we're going to go with it. Uh, I actually, I don't want this cross-section here, I don't think. So let's get rid of that. What, what happened there? Undo. There we go. So I'm going to work on this guy a little bit off camera, and then maybe we'll, we'll give a little update once he looks a little bit more developed. So here's a little status update on the airship. It's starting to take shape, I think. And I'm actually having quite a bit of fun making this thing. I didn't anticipate that it would be this fun. I thought it would be okay to make this thing, but I've never done this before. And I'm actually really liking it. It's a lot of fun. Can I say that again? It's a lot of fun. It would probably be a lot more of a pain in the butt in vanilla Minecraft. But since I can use World Edit and copy these cross sections across, it makes it a lot easier. So we've got this sort of sleek shape. This thing looks like it should be fast, right? That's the, sort of the impression I'm getting. But we've also got this kind of heavy cage with the, the stone bricks, the castle quote-unquote portion of it, 
which I may bulk up a little bit on the the hind quarter here, where there's going to be like a captain's cabin and maybe some some storage down here. I don't know. One of the details I've added, I've separated. I added little air blocks, a little half slab space, or just a slab space. A slab is already half. Half slab is redundant, or that would be a quarter. Never, whatever. Never mind. Um, I uh, added this little detail here to separate the hull of the boat, the wood part, with the the framework of the stone brick. I think that's pretty cool. It's got this really sleek look, and then there's this balcony here, which is sort of floating. And then back here, we've got... I, I don't know ship terms, but uh, you know what this is all about. Here's the cabin, and if there was a wheel for the thing, it would be... I don't know, maybe right here. And the next thing I really have to decide is what we're going to do with masts. And is the thing going to be an airship? Uh, well, of course it's going to be an airship. What am I saying? Is it going to have a balloon? Is it going to have propellers? Is it going to have wings? That kind of thing. What's going to look right with this sort of shape? So let's just try something. Let's get over approximately the center of it. The center of it is probably right about something like this. Now, World Edit is kind of uses different names for item blocks, not the names you might assume. So if you try to make a sphere out of, say, cyan wool, it won't recognize any combination of those two words that I can figure out. Uh, cyan wool, wool cyan, it doesn't seem to work. So I had to actually look up the block IDs. So we're in 1.7. They're being phased out in 1.8, and you'll just use the words. I don't know how that's going to affect. Well, anyway, let's try a balloon up here. So we're going to say sphere. And instead of saying wool, we're going to use the block ID. So 35 is wool. And colon 9 is... That is cyan. And then we'll say... Uh, 14, that's the diameter, or rather the radius, I think. Uh, front and back. And then we'll say 4, that's the vertical radius. And then 4, that's the left and right radius. All right, and we use the compass to get out. Hmm. Okay, first thing I'm thinking, uh, cyan possibly not quite the right color. And I, I'm, not, I'm not quite, uh, I don't think the shape is right. I don't think it's quite big enough. Maybe we should go a little bit bigger and a little bit higher. So let's undo that. And we'll come up a little higher. And we'll back it up a little bit. Because the center of mass, the, the bulk, the back of the thing is heavier. So you want to center it, I would think, over the center of mass. And we'll say, what did I say, sphere? 1444. This time, let's try... Let's just start with white. So that's zero. Probably don't even need the colon of zero, but whatever. So we did 14. Let's do 18. Uh, 6, 6. That'll get us out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's more appropriate. I think that's about right. All right. Um, next thing to think about is how... How do we connect to the thing? Do you have a mast just like going up to it? Are we gonna have some kind of ropes with let's let's try some fences? Uh, we could have some ropes leading up to it, kind of thing. And once I get a if I get a rope that looks nice, I'll just I'll do more of the copy and pasting like we did before with the cross sections, but just to see what it looks like. And we might want to angle that or, or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the mast thing really works with a with the the hot air balloon type concept. So then, are we gonna have masts? Are we still gonna have a balloon? These are things to continue working on. I'll give you an update once I figure out what I want to do actually. Okay, so last update for today. I've spent most of the night working on this thing up here, actually, and periodically I will turn the chat on and everyone is just speculating what the heck is up with this cloud? What's in the sky? Sometimes the chunks load in and the I guess the ship loads in before the cloud, and so people have caught little peaks at it here and there. So here's the progress I've made. I think it's looking pretty good. 
I've done a bit of detailing. The shape is mostly there. We've got a propeller on the back. Got some detaily doodads. And use the wooden fences for rigging. I think that does a pretty good job of representing rigging. We've got a sort of like a... It's a hot air balloon kind of thing where there's the inner layer, which is like an inner tube or, you know, the white part. And then we've got this thing draping over it. And then the rigging is connected to this. And that is sort of, the ship is hanging from that. And we've also got this kind of frame with the masts, tying in the mast concept with the ships. And we've got this, uh, the fin on the bottom thing. Looks kind of cool. It's, I guess, uh, that, what's that called? A rudder. That's the rudder. The rudder. And then if we, we'll give you a little walk around. There's the main cabin. It's not quite finished. We still have some details left to add. And some lighting. It's rather dark. But here is going to be kind of like the storage area where all the, all the stuff he's smuggling or whatever. All his blacksmithing supplies will be in there. And then here, I don't know what this is. Maybe this will be the bathroom and we'll poke a hole through the ground so you can like go to the bathroom and it'll just fall out or something. I don't know. Uh, something a little weird. And then here is the main cabin. Also, no real furniture except for these bookshelves. Getting all of these details worked out, it's it's kind of hard with all the... It's so cramped. All, all the stairs interacting and conflicting with each other. And we've got these kind of... What, what they were kind of supposed to look like a little bit is a castle turret, like a tower or something. Uh, but still, they had to work with the, the blocks that I was using, the, the different shapes and whatnot. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. And that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to try to get the Iron Golem-based NPC up soon. In fact, I'll show you what he looks like. Oh, okay. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work when I do that. It'll say it spawned him, but then it doesn't. So let, let's try again. Maybe I'll, I float in the air. Uh, let's just press up. Spawn mob. Right, there, there we go. Okay, so here's the skin form. It's not quite finished. I've got a little bit of work to do. I haven't finished the arms, but it's mostly done. Whoa. Uh, and we're going to... Don't fall off of there, man. I just summoned you. This is your ship. Stay on your ship. You're not ready to crash yet. But we'll try to get the NPC and the quest going in the next couple of days. So you can interact with him. He'll have uh, custom voice uh, dialogue where you can talk to him. He'll talk back. Well, you can't talk to him, but he'll talk back. Actually, no. You can talk to him. Pretend to talk to him all you like. And let's go ahead and let's give everybody down below a little preview. And we turn the chat on, I guess. And yeah, first thing they do, of course, is attack the Iron Golem. Uh, so that's another thing we have to work out. We have to give everyone weakness so they can't attack the Iron Golem. Because that's going to happen. Uh, so that's some plug-in stuff that I don't really know the ins and outs of. I only know the very basics of sort of the types of things we can do. So, um, But we'll try to get that up in the next couple days. And we'll do another update video once we get the the text the, the dialogue voice stuff and the, qu the quest and the items and uh and then i'll give you an option for the next thing to happen on the island yeah you can attack him so that's gonna be it <laughs> for this episode let's uh let's do a player volcano before we end the episode though oh you know what's fun i wonder if, if it's still here let's check I'm not sure if it is. That that will keep them occupied for a bit while I look. I don't remember if I left it or not. I, oh, I think I blew it up. Yeah, I blew it up. Okay. But real quick, we can uh, probably do it again. Um, let's see. I need a music? No. Record player? Jukebox. Jukebox. That's what we need. We need a jukebox. We're going to need TNT. We're going to need... Um, no, we're going to need flint and steel, and we're going to need cobwebs, and we're going to need one of these. Why cannot I do that? Okay, fine. It's right there. All right, so we'll just do something like this. 
Uh, this is something I did a long time ago in a, in a video, which most of you watching this today probably have never seen. Uh, but it's a funny way to torture people. <laughs> you basically, you play elevator music while they slowly fall to their death. So we're going to, we're going to TP everyone here and drop them down through here. And we've got to make sure, I'd actually try this earlier. Got to make sure that the record player is far enough away that they can't actually touch it. Because otherwise, we'll put it there. Because otherwise they will, I wonder, can I spawn them here? I may have to, let's go up. Uh, I'm not sure if I can spawn them here. They have to spawn on solid ground. And I have that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I get a kick out of doing on my little private world here. All right, here we go. Out of my way. Out of my way. Let me get through. Why is my, my compass isn't working? There we go. There we go. They're all up there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Headbang. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so that's it for this episode. Expect more of this on Calamity Town. Unexpected death. Oh, you thought you were out, huh? Oh, he got out. Well, good for him. He got out as well. These guys aren't gonna be so lucky. These guys are not gonna be so lucky. Oh, you got out too. Thought you were gonna get out. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.